Hey what's going on gang, welcome to your 43rd Vue.js tutorial and in this video we're going to start hooking up our application to Firebase. Okay so our blog is looking something like this, we can list our different blogs on this page, we can search for them and we can click into them to show more information about that blog which is really cool, this is all working fine. However this is all kind of fake JSON data. We're using that JSON placeholder REST API to serve up this content. And ideally, we want to add our own content in this form, store it in a database, and then retrieve that data here and show our own blogs only. So we're going to start to do that now using a tool called Firebase from Google. So you want to go to firebase.google to have a look at this, and you can sign up for free. It essentially lets us store data in a NoSQL database, which means we're storing it as JavaScript objects in collections rather than in tables, cells, that kind of thing. Okay, so it works really well with JavaScript. So you can click this button, get started for free to sign up. And once you've done that, you want to click this button over here, go to console to go to your own console. Okay. And then once you're in, you can add a new project by clicking this. I've already added one. All you need to do is give it a name, something like that, and create it. So once you've created that, just click into it, and you're going to be uh, taken to this page with a load of different options on the left. So we want to use the database, OK? So what we're going to do is store data in this database. And this is going to be the root URL for our database. So we're going to need that later on. At the minute, there's nothing in here, which is why it says null. But we're going to add some data into this in a couple of minutes. First thing you need to do though is go to rules and you need to edit your rules so that you can actually write data to this database. By the way, I apologize for how slow my internet connection is right now. So at the minute, it's probably going to look something like this. So this means we can read data from the database, but this means we can't write data to the database. Uh, for now, we want to change this to true, okay? Because that will allow us to add data now to the database, then publish it. However, if you put your application into production, then you don't want to go with these rules because that basically means anyone can add data to this database. So you want to set up some kind of authentication rules instead. Now to read more about that, I suggest you go to the docs and that's going to explain it all to you. For now, we're just going to keep it like this just so we can easily add data to the database. So let's go back to the database by clicking on data and we need this URL right here. So I'm going to copy that and we're going to use it in the project in a second. Okay, so back in our project, I've got the add blog component up, which is the form to add in a new blog. And right down here at the bottom of the form, we have this button which fires this post method when we try to add a blog. Now, at the minute, that is posting content to this kind of fake REST API URL, this endpoint right here. Now, we no longer want to do that. We want to post instead to the URL we just grabbed, which is our database. So I'm going to paste that in here. But we also want to post it not in the root level, but in some kind of collection. So I'm going to call this collection posts.json. And that doesn't matter that it doesn't exist at the minute. Firebase is going to create this when it gets that first request. And if it does already exist after that, it's just going to post to this collection. OK, so before we were posting the title, the body and the user ID. Now, we don't want this user ID anymore. That was just for that fake JSON. So we can delete this now. And what we do want are the categories and the author. So I could add these things right here like that. But to be honest, we could just pass in the whole blog object instead. So instead of this object right here, we can just delete that and type in this dot blog. And that is going to pass all of this object here instead, which is the same as just writing it all out in here. OK, so now let's get rid of that closing curly brace. We're passing all of this data to this URL, then what we're going to do is console.log that data, right? So let's see if this works. I'm going to save it and go to our application. So if I go to add new blog, we can start to add something. Now I'm just going to add a blog huddle and I've got some lorem ipsum down here, which I'm just going to use. So let's copy and paste all this and uh, add it to the blog content. Okay, let's call this a ninjas category and the author is the net ninja. Okay, so the preview looks cool. Let's add this blog. And when we've added it, thanks for adding your post. Let's inspect the elements so we can go to the console. And in the console, we get this response. So this response has a body right here with an object. And this is some kind of unique name for that object. Okay, we can use this identifier later if we need it. 
we also have the body text and we have a status of 200 okay so let's just go to firebase and see what's been added over here so now you can see it's created this posts collection and if we expand this this is the name property we just saw right here okay so that's the unique id kind of thing if you like of this post and if we expand it we can see we've got an author the categories is an array with just ninjas the content is this and the title is hodo cool so let's also add a few more blocks just so we've got a few that we can display on the blog page later on so if i go back to the application i'm going to close this off for now and if we go to blog we're still bringing in all that dummy content but we can keep adding some new blogs so what i'll do this time is add some kind of cheese blog so i've got some cheese ipsum right here i'm just going to grab that stuff and let's go to the app and say my fave cheese and add this in all right luckily we have a cheese category how cool is that <laughs> okay this time it's the angular avenger let's add that blog cool okay let's refresh to add some kind of new blog uh, this time we'll do a space one so i've got the space ipsum as well and let's call this lost in space how original and paste that in okay wizards that's the closest i've got to some kind of astronaut i suppose uh, or maybe even mario as well add blog and uh, let's add one more this zombie stuff i ain't got a clue what category this is going to go in um let's say run for your life and there we go and i realize this is completely cheesy so that gives me an idea i'll pop it in the cheese category and uh, the view vindicator is adding this post okay cool so now we've added four blog posts and let's just check this data now we have all these different items in the posts category and they've all got their own data inside them okay so now we're storing this in our own database and how simple was that very very simple so now what we're going to do in the next tutorial is in this component go out grab those blocks and display them right here